So right now, let me show you how you can scan QR codes, but without using the camera. Because it's easy right now, because uh, if you use the camera, you can just open it up and point it to some kind of QR code, and it just gets you the option to click on it and like scan it without any problems. That's okay. But in case you want to scan a QR code, which is somewhere on the, the screen, like you come across it inside of Safari or whatever, in this case, it's a little bit different, but I'm going to show you how it works. So I don't know about any QR code. So I'm just going to open up the Safari like this, and I'm just going to just click on Google and look up QR codes. So yeah, QR code, and I'm going to go to the uh, picture view like this. So yeah, to the images. And it just shows me a bunch of different QR codes. Now, let me show you how you can read, for example, this one which appears on the screen. So what you have to do is to take a screenshot of this and it's going to appear inside of the Photos app as a normal screenshot. So you open up the Photos for now and get to the image which shows up like this. And you need to make sure that it's like it's showing the information. When this picture is not showing any information, you have to just tap on it and it gives you like when it was taken and the option to edit and stuff. So you want to make sure that you are in this view for the QR codes. And in the lower right corner, you can see the text option or button at the, at the right uh, bottom right corner. So if you click on that, it's going to select all the text available on the screen as well as QR codes. So QR codes can now be clicked. For example, the first one can be clicked and it tells me how it is linked. It already knows that it's linked to an app in the App Store. I can open up the link inside of Safari, copy it, share it, whatever I want. Same for other links. So I click on the one at the bottom. It, told, it tells me that this is the URL which is linked under the QR code. <clears throat> so this is what you can do. It doesn't matter which QR code I click on, I can read them easily. The problem, however, would be that you don't even have the button right here. You don't have this feature enabled. And some iPhones may not have it because they don't run the latest version of iOS. If you have like really outdated version, like, I don't know, like iOS 11, then obviously you're not going to be able to do it. But also you need to have it enabled in the settings, even if you have the latest iOS 17, for example. So to do that, open up the settings and find the general section. So it is right here, the general. Click on that and scroll down to the bottom to click on language and region. Open it up like this and I don't know why the live text is available inside of here, inside of the language and region section. For me, it does not make sense, doesn't matter. But here it is and make sure that the live text enabled. Because when it's turned off and you open up the photos, you don't get the option here. So yeah, it just doesn't work. So you need to have sh make sure that the live text is enabled. Right now, the button does not show up. So yeah, the live text needs to be enabled and then you will be able to scan any QR code which appears on the screen of your iPhone. So th this is the, all the stuff that you need to know about it. If you want to know more, you definitely have to click the link down below in the description and check out the Foxtech educational platform, which is free to join. You can click on the link right now and get inside where you can find video editing courses, in-depth iPhone guides, and much more. So definitely go ahead and check it out right now. I will see you guys later inside as well as in the future videos. So subscribe to Foxtech, hit the thumbs up, See you guys in the later tutorials.